From the legend of an elusive great white shark finally confirmed, to a giant hammerhead shark swallowing a smaller shark whole, here are some of the biggest shark catches ever. Number 8. Massive Bull Shark in Florida Fishing charters are a big business in Florida, so when a local company in Madeira Beach took a group of tourists out to reel in the catch of the day, they got a little more than they bargained for. It took two whole hours to reel in what grabbed a hold of one of the lines from the charter boat. Those on board that wrestled with the catch on the end of the line were rewarded with a massive 10.4 foot long and a 5 foot wide bull shark. The charter owners at Hubbard Marina used these commercial trips to teach tourists about fishing and the local fishery, so netting the shark was a surprise. So too was the outcome. Rather than releasing the shark, as the owners preferred to do, the client had the final say and opted to kill the apex predator. With so many sharks in nearby waters, remarkably the charter company has been hosting these types of excursions since they opened in the late 1920s. Believing that the sharks should be released to avoid endangering the local ecosystem by killing off the predators, the charter captain eventually relented and let the tourists take the shark home, presumably for food. One silver lining of the excursion is that once the animal is used for food, its remains are given to local scientists who study it. Caught about a mile off Egmont Key in Florida, the bull shark is just one of a number of species one might encounter while boating in the area. Sandbar sharks, tiger sharks and bull sharks have all been captured and released by the company over the years. Number 7. Canadian Mako Shark Not all big shark catches happen in the United States. For an angler in Nova Scotia, Canada, it was quite the run-in with an 11 foot long shark that has made him a household name among locals. But it was the 2004 photo of his catch that went viral. An annual event with local fishermen in Yarmouth has fishing enthusiasts head out to the open sea to see who can catch the largest shark. Money raised at the event goes to local charities and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to fund their research. At the 2004 event, a 28-year-old named Jamie Doucette captured a 10-foot female mako shark that weighed in at over 1,000 pounds. After battling the shark for more than 40 minutes, Doucette and his crew were able to bring the shark on board, but that was just the beginning of the tale. As the hooked shark surged to the surface, it chewed through the steel leader the men used to capture it. They then tried wrapping it in ropes around its torso and tail, but the shark was not having that either and chewed through the knots. As the men battled the mako, one of the crew members gave it an unceremonious end by slitting its throat, after which the shark died within 20 minutes. But that would not be the end of this shark's tail. For some reason, as the photo circulated online, others picked up the story and claimed to have seen the catch occur in places as far away as Galveston, Texas, Chesapeake Bay and Washington State. No one knows exactly why the shark caught in a small town around Nova Scotia became such an internet sensation, but the tale continues to be one that still resurfaces over a decade later, usually, unsurprisingly, during Shark Week. How many of you are fans of Shark Week? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Great White Shark in the Sea of Cortez Just off the coast of Baja, California, two fishermen were tending to some nets they had dropped the night before when they found something huge lurking in the waters. First noticing the incredible weight in the net as they hauled it back to the surface, they found the dead Great White and brought it back to shore. Expecting to find a net filled with a bunch of small fish, they were shocked to discover a great white shark had got stuck instead. Reportedly around 2,000 pounds and around 20 feet long. It might seem remarkable that such a large shark could have been caught by such a small net, but it isn't uncommon for great whites to swim in the area. The great white was found in an area that scientists believe sharks use as a nursery for its protected waters. In 2019, OSEARCH, an organisation that researches ocean data, reported that another 200 pound shark they had been tracking entered the Gulf of Mexico after swimming down the coast from Canada. By tracking animals like this, OSEARCH is able to learn where females give birth and since the Sea of Cortez is known for a similar reason, it isn't difficult to assume that the shark caught by the two commercial fishermen was simply a female shark looking for a place to increase the species. Number 5. Myrtle Beach Bull Shark For 40 years, one man's catch of a tiger shark off North Myrtle Beach remained a record holder. In 1964, a man named Walter Maxwell snagged his line in the mouth of a giant shark and spent the next four hours bringing the beast in. As curious onlookers watched, Maxwell slowly brought the shark closer to shore, so close he could almost touch it, and then his line broke. 
Vowing to stay there as long as it took to get another chance at hooking the shark, Maxwell talked one of his friends into paddling him out into the water. Armed with live bait, the men waited until just after sunrise when the large tiger shark came back. After almost taking off with Maxwell's line, the shark fought the men all afternoon and late into the night. For five hours, the man battled the shark, and when he finally got it close to the pier, his friends lent a hand, using heavy rope to hoist it onto a flatbed truck. It took until the next day to weigh the shark, but when they did, it came in at a whopping 1,780 pounds and stretching 13 feet long. It would take until 2004 for another angler to catch a shark bigger than this one, but for Walter Maxwell, his shark, even if it was slightly smaller, still has a tail that made the record books. Number 4. Giant Sharks of Baja Although some of these stories might seem like they are too crazy to be true, there are quite a few areas in the world where not only these massive sharks live, but you can get up close and personal with them. Would you want to? Guadalupe Island, just south of San Diego, is one such place where you can book yourself a great white shark encounter. But don't think you have to fend for yourself against one of the world's largest predatory creatures. Those who take one of the five-day trips will be able to cage dive with these giants of the sea. Because certified divers continue to bring shark enthusiasts for dives, the animals are quite accustomed to having humans swimming in close proximity. So much that the resident sharks have names. One of the sharks you might encounter include Deep Blue, a female that measures 20 feet long from tail to snout. Although the earliest visitors to the island were there to hunt for seals and sea lions, shark cage diving expeditions are now a popular tourist attraction. Sea lovers are able to explore the volcanic island and its rugged nature. With towering cliffs and raw beauty, Guadalupe Island serves as the perfect backdrop for a thrilling shark dive. The convergence of warm southern currents with cool northern swells are what make Guadalupe Island the perfect place to shark watch. With its abundance of fish, as well as fur seals, sea lions and elephant seals are what really attract sharks to the area. With more than 250 sharks counted at one time in Guadalupe's waters, the 100 feet of visibility, calm waters and warm water temperature make it the perfect place to witness one of the world's largest animals in the wild. Number 3. Record-breaking Great White In the mid-1980s, a carnival-like atmosphere surrounded the capture of what some believed to be the largest Great White ever brought to shore. The 3,350-pound shark was found 25 miles south of Montauk in the Atlantic. A special scale had to be brought in to weigh the behemoth, with the International Game Fish Association coming in to certify and confirm the catch. Ironically, Donnie Braddock, the charter boat captain who battled the shark for two hours, was out in his boat with Frank Mundus, a man who some believe was the inspiration for the legendary shark hunter in the movie Jaws. Apparently, the men had been sailing earlier in the day and came across a dead whale that was being fed upon by sharks. Returning to the scene later, they laid out some chum in the water, hoping to lure a shark in for a closer look. Measuring almost 17 feet, the shark was beaten by a simple rod and reel that could sustain up to 150 pounds of strength. It was one of the largest great whites caught anywhere. The shark was set to be dissected and its stomach contents sent to the Museum of Natural History for study. Number 2. Cuban Monster Shark When stories surface of supposed massive shark sightings, one usually takes the news with a grain of salt. A story that had been circulating since 1945 about an underwater monster was an easy one to question, but it would take over 70 years for the Discovery Channel to finally confirm any truth to the fishy tale. As the story goes, six fishermen set out from Cojimar in Cuba to look for the underwater animal that had been eating all their fish. Armed with only ropes and harpoons, the men set sail, eventually coming face to face with the culprit. After an epic struggle that lasted all night and the following day, they found that they had been battling with a 21-foot Great White that weighed a whopping 7,000 pounds. So, it's no wonder they nicknamed it El Monstro de Kojima. It would be easy to dismiss this story, but when a Discovery Channel documentary crew decided to look into it, they eventually confirmed the validity of the monster. The problem? 15 years after the shark was caught, an embargo was set in place to protect a large portion of the Caribbean from American scientists. It would take until 2013 for the documentary crew to start work on their piece for the first hints of the truth to be revealed. The executive producer of the documentary had been in Cuba and marvelled at its unspoiled beauty. Wanting to capture the splendour on film, he decided to pull together a crew of filmmakers and underwater cinematographers to bring his idea to life. Finally, after years of red tape, 
the crew started filming, working with shark scientists to track down a man, only 8 years old at the time, who had been around that fateful day when the massive shark was caught. After verifying the photo, scientists studied the shark, noticing that El Monstro looked larger than any other 16 foot great white he had ever seen. Taking off to find other such sharks in the area, researchers tagged various sharks, including a rare long fin mako. Using their data to study the 60 species of sharks found in Cuban waters, the scientists are able to further protect sharks that travel to other parts of the world. This goes to show you that the amazing stories like the one of El Monstruo can not only inspire, but protect the world's oceans and the precious animals that live within them. Number 1. Hammerhead vs Black Tip Shark It isn't every day that fishermen capture a giant hammerhead shark on video. But when a couple of buddies were out fishing off the coast of Palm Beach, Florida, they not only caught the event on video, they captured an intense encounter between the two sharks. After hooking an 80 pound black tip shark on their line, Hall of Fame golfer Greg Norman and Josh Jorgensen, producer of Black Tip H sports fishing channel on YouTube, the two were understandably excited. Little did they know that they were in for an even bigger catch. As they had the shark on their line, they noticed a massive hammerhead shark approaching their boat. Using a drone to watch overhead, the men were glued to the screen as the massive hammerhead circled the shark they'd captured. After taking a bite, the hammerhead shark swam away, only to come back again. This time though, it wasn't for a simple nibble. The hammerhead swallowed the other shark whole. The men were shocked and elated to have captured the footage. But that wasn't the end of the adventure. They still had the hammerhead on their line, and after drawing hundreds of yards of line from the wheel, the shark continued to put up a fight. It took 45 minutes for the men to reel the monster in, and when they did, they soon realised just how massive it really was. After capturing some photos of the behemoth, they measured the hammerhead at almost 15 feet long, and weighed it at an astonishing 1200 pounds. Before releasing the shark back into the wild, the men jumped into the water to swim alongside it to celebrate their thrilling encounter. Not bad for a day of fishing. Thanks for watching. Have you ever swam with sharks? Have you ever caught one? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.